Hello everybody, Max with A1 Website Pro here and today I'm talking a lot about HTML and FTP client editors. I'm writing a new post on it, but I just think that there's a free editor out there that is not being utilized by a lot of people, and it's called Aptana Studio. So if you go to your Google search engine and, and type in A-P-T-A-N-A S-T-U-D-I-O you can find that particular uh, HTML editor here and the great thing about Aptana is that it's cross browser compatible you could get it or cross platform compatible excuse me and you can get it for your Windows PC or your Mac so I'm going to take you through the download process here and installing it you can put your email in, address in there now it automatically reads that I'm on a Windows machine right but if you were on a Mac it would say Mac and you would get your DNG file now here's the standalone version or the Eclipse version the Eclipse plugin version are for app developers that are using Aptana Studio to develop apps for like Android, iPhone, Windows Phone, stuff like that. But uh, I don't use Aptana Studio for that. In fact, uh, I, I hardly use it at all. But I think it's like an underdog that that has a, a really valuable resources in it. And I just want to show people how to do it, and especially with the people, my customers that are using Mac machines. And a lot of times I'll refer to Notepad++ and they can't install it. So that's the reason for this tutorial. So you just download Aptana Studio. You'll get this application. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. Click save. And then the, uh, the application will start uh, downloading just like that. Give that a second to download. Okay, it's downloaded to my computer, so I'm just going to click on the execute file, and I'm going to run it. And uh, let me bring this over here so you can see what's going on. Here, the setup requires 171 megabytes in a C users, Maximus Move, App Data, Roaming, Accelerator, Aptiana Studio. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Click Agree to the license and click Install. And this will take a few minutes to go through the different steps here. So I will pause the video and uh, be right back with you. Now whenever Aptana Studio has finished, you'll get a screen like this. Just click Finish. And let me bring this over so you can see it's deleting the extracted files. Okay. And I'm going to go to my Start menu and go to All Programs and look for that Aptana folder. Okay, so the first thing that it asks us for is to create a workspace. We're just going to use this as a default workspace. My Documents, Aptana Studio 3 Workspace. Okay, we're just going to use, set it like that there. And click OK. Now you can't see it because over on my other screen here, uh, it was loading a bunch of stuff. So you'll get a little screen that pops up like that. Alright, so here we go. Everything is loading up. And here's a start page. And of course this is Aptana's start page. And there's some errors and internal error about loading different bundles for Eclipse and uh, remember we didn't choose the Eclipse one. I do have Eclipse installed on my computer whenever I develop uh, apps for cell phones so that's probably why this internal error is occurring. Okay. Alright, so let's just get rid of this page right here and let's create a project and this is going to be a web project. I'll click Next. Now the project name we will call it DJ double H because that's a project that I'm working on and so I'm gonna click finish alright so over here I could go up to this use the drop down and create a new file and maybe within this file I want to create a, a, a file name called index.html click finish and you notice right away it brings me up so I'm able to start creating uh, my HTML code just like that 
and you notice it has the little code hints and it auto closes your tags which is really nice we'll go ahead and uh, start with the head tag here all right and in the head tag we'll just hit enter and we'll put a title tag in there okay DJ double oop H just like that all right and then we'll come down below here start typing our body tag And then maybe start with an H1 tag and say, welcome to DJ double H. And then we'll go outside of that tag, maybe write a paragraph tag and say, oh, so glad you found us. Okay. All right. So I have a, a little uh, uh, file here. If I hit control S on my keyboard or command S on a Mac, it will save that index file. Now one of the things that I like about this Aptana Studio is it has a preview on it. Unlike uh, Notepad++ where you have to upload it to the site to preview it every time or use it on your WAMP server, all you have to do is come up here, hover this over this eye, and it'll give you a preview of the site. So as you're editing this file, in fact we'll put another paragraph tag in there and say this is another paragraph just like that you notice if I click preview and uh, refresh the page well let me save this let me hit control s control s if I go back to preview you see this is another paragraph so I get to get real time instead of saving it uploading it to the server and every time I could I could look and see what's going on here okay so that's one of the good things about Aptana. Now when I'm ready to upload it to the server, all I have to do is come over here to my pro, uh, my program and double click this connections, okay, and I can have a connections. I usually call my uh, server connections remote and my local connections local. So I'm just say call it remote. My project is DJ H, okay. And so no remote dis destination is defined, so I'm going to click new here. And this is going to be an FTP, okay, an FTP protocol, and the, the server is djhh.com, okay. Now I'm going to use FTP to connect, so it's max at djhh.com is my username, and then I'll just put in my password. Uh, let me make sure I can remember my password, okay. But then we can click test. See, it's, see if it's authenticating, see if I put the correct password in, and no, I didn't. So I'm going to take off those first two characters and click test again, and notice my connection is successful. So if you're getting an error, more than likely you need to go in and set up your FTP. And you can see another video that I created on setting up FTPs in my Notepad++ tutorial on a1websitepro.com. And let me show you where that tutorial is. If you go to a1websitepro.com, let me bring the entire browser into the screen. Up here in the search, just type in Notepad++ and hit enter. And you're going to get this great tutorial here on how to set up an FTP account via your cPanel um, right here. So create an FTP login from your cPanel. So here's step-by-step -step instructions. Okay. So let's go back to our Aptana Studio and click OK. And uh, let's click Apply. And so now we have a remote connection. And select OK. All right. So now I'm ready to upload this index. Now, my, my other issue is whenever I open this remote connection up, you see I already have an index.html. All right. So if I download this, I can see it. You see it says welcome to DJ Double H. Okay? That's my my FTP. And if I bring the DJ Double H website, let me show you. DJ Double and bring it over here so you can see. You see this is what I currently have on it right now. So let's say that I wanted to edit that or I wanted to, you know, do something to it. Um, let's just put another P tag in here. Put test.
And then I'm going to hit Control S on my keyboard. And you notice this binary down here, the console? It's letting me know that it's uploading to the server. So if I come over here and I refresh this page, we should see tests down here. And we do. Okay? So that's, that, it, it, that's a really cool feature. Uh, you can also sync your local files with your remote files. Let me show you how to do that. So what I would do to sync, I would click on my remote connection, okay, and that has all the files that I have on a remote server. This is my local connection where I just have the index, okay. So I'm going to click on this remote connection, and I want to sync my local folder with my remote folder, okay. So I'll just go up here and hit synchronize, right, and then I'll get this up here, and I could choose to delete orphan files or delete orphan files on remote these are leftover files that are not supposed to be there but I'm not going to delete anything because this is my first time syncing this particular website with my Aptana studio so I'm gonna click synchronize and it's going to download all of those files that were on my server to my local server okay so we've seen upcoming shows and so it looks like it is uh, It's done now these advanced options uh, this gives you permissions for files to read and write and uh, uh, execute and then for directories to read write and execute okay that's uh, you have to be careful using those especially you know you don't want other people to be able to upload stuff to your folders and stuff but um, well that'll be another tutorial so we could close when done all right, so now the cool thing is, is now whenever I edit stuff on my local, okay, this DJ Double H, and if I refresh DJ Double H, let me bring it over here, show you. There's, there's the little test thing that we did. Now I'm going to edit it on my local, and we'll just say, this is a test, just like that. And I'm going to hit Control S, just like that. Now see what happens on the remote server. I'm going to refresh it, do a hard refresh it's still there why that's because it's not synchronized so what I can do is I can hit this file and hit sync synchronize okay and do you see where it says update it I got a remote update the remote file the remote connection that I tried so I'll just click synchronize just like that and I'll come back over here to my website I'll refresh it now notice I get this is a test so it's a pretty cool little system, you know, whenever you're, whenever you're trying to edit uh, um, files and stuff like that. Now, one thing that I'm not crazy about, I do not like the, the black background color. I like a white background, and I like comic text. That's the way I have all my editors set up, and I'll show you uh, in, in my Notepad++ if I start writing uh, HTML, so on and so forth, you'll see that it has that kind of uh, style to it. So I like to style my editors with a white background, black test, and have these things be different colors. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Aptana Studio. Aptana calls these themes instead of styles. So we'll go up to Windows here, hit Preferences, okay, and what we want to do is if you're like this here, you want to hit Aptana Studio, just like that, and uh, you want to go down to themes right here and so here's Aptana Studio in fact you could choose from uh, a bunch of different themes like this okay from the drop down alright um, so I like that white background and let me see here my font I do not like Courier I like the comic font so we're just going to start typing in comic Sincero, that's my, and I like my text to be a little bit larger, not because I'm getting older, just because that's the way I like it, okay? All right, so there's, there's my text, and, you know, I could get along with those colors just fine, so, and those backgrounds, and then I'll just click Apply, click OK, and now I have a somewhat similar uh, style that I had before. I don't like the tags being this gray color, so I'm going to go back to Windows, Preferences, Themes, and I'm going to go see why my tags are that gray color. I don't really like them that being that gray color. 
I won't mind them being orange. Orange is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to go here, click apply. And let me go here, console debug. That's okay to be gray, I guess. Mm. Scroll down here a little more. Entity name. Orange. Okay, there we go. So that's entity name to change your tag colors to orange, okay? And then just click apply. And click OK. All right. So that's a little bit more what I'm used to. And it's just a lot of fun programming with a comic in Serif. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on Aptana Studio. I think that it's a great program. And uh, it has a lot of cool features on it. Uh, code hinting and automatic closing. Uh, for instance, you'll notice whenever I started with the P tag, it automatically closed it. So, so I can write in here real fast, you know, just like that. All right, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. This is my review of Aptana Studio and getting it set up. It'll work on Mac and Windows, so that's a good thing about it, and that's why I am doing this tutorial for all my Mac clients. Thanks.